Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back. It is that time that we return for Chucky season three. We do have reactions up to the first two seasons, so check those out if you have not already. I've been delightfully enjoying the ride, man. It has been insane. It has been wild. And going into this one, I don't know anything. I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen anything for this one. So with that all said, Let's go ahead and strap in. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if we go to Marvel channel, get you access as well. It's a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes and reaction the entire episode. Over there, you also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. So you're going to support the channel, but guys, I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said now the way, let's go ahead and strap in for the first episode of Chucky season three. Here we go. Henry, what mm. are you doing? Mom, I saw him. I saw him move and I heard his voice. He whispered to me in the dark. What did he say? We're all going to die. Henry, so when we talked about this, didn't we, Henry? There's no such thing as ghosts. But when Nana died, you said she left her body and went to heaven. That's a ghost. <laughs> well, at least there's one good thing. And what's that? At least Joseph is here. What? <laughs> to protect me from the ghost. Why did that automatically freak her out? Was that just for us? Or is he named after someone? Joseph says that sometimes the ghost might be hiding in the last place you'd ever suspect. She knows. Just like there's no such thing as talking dolls. They're all just a part of our imagination, right? Miss Cunningham or electrons. has a very active imagination. Electronics. I don't know what happened with my brain right there. Can we come in and sleep with you and dad again tonight? Henry, we talked about this. You're a big boy now. You got this, okay? Okay. You're a big boy now. Good night, sweetheart. Don't forget Joseph. Good night, Joseph. Kiss him, mom! You've got this, Joseph. We sure do. Great. We've got this, Joseph. We sure do. Great. Mm. Wait, what? Oh my God, what in the world? What is he doing in the White House? Dude, I don't know. Did I forget something at the end of last season? I mean, it does feel like it's been a while. I might need to watch a recap. <laughs> Henry? Henry? Coop, what's going on? Potomac Power says no one else in DC is affected. Devin Sawa's president? I love that they just keep recasting him every season. Joseph's gone. They took him. Who, who took him? The ghosts. They're plural now. Ma'am, I'll get the doll. Why don't you guys go with Agent Sims and I'll meet you. Oh. Teddy. Okay, I got an idea. Basement. The basement. Why? Here, just have a breath, man. You stink. So he was talking to the ghosts too. He's afraid of them, and they made off with the doll. Is it? Andy and crew again, hunting down stray dolls. All right. What do you say, Henry? Thank you, Teddy. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Lo little do you know, you messed the fuck up just now. And once we hit a commercial break, I'm going to uh, double check what. What I'm, what I'm failing to remember at the end of last season. This house is haunted. Henry. I'm sorry. He's a little anxious. He should be. This fucker, he's not estranged to killing animals. Ow. 
Um, what just happened? What happened? Bad boy. It wasn't him. Mm. Want to thank you guys for your support, your messages, your prayers. Really mean a lot to me, Devin and Lexi. We're doing better. We're all finding our own ways to cope. Mine's been focused on my art. Get them two coffee. All right, he's back to his art, but live streaming, that's not something I expected. The horror that is QP. Barb, Raggedy Ann, and Andy, <laughs> Shaddy Cat, Baby Nance, Savage Pat, American Girl. Wow. The last doll, I really need to finish this. Okay. Well, to finally move on with my life, you guessed it. Oh, Good wow. Guy. Very hard to get. Well, we keep destroying them all. That's one thing. If anyone sees this good guy doll or even hears about it, please get in touch. Maybe Lexi I can help you. Interesting. Need to get my hands on that doll. Oh, what if this is a ploy to keep people, uh, get people alerted to look for him? It's not about the sculpture or the project. It's just about finding that missing Chucky. I did read a, a summary of the last episode, and yeah, I, I don't know how we got here based on where we ended. So I think I'm okay. Chucky just somehow ended up in the White House after New York. We're still looking into the exact nature of the malfunction. So you don't really know what went wrong. Not yet. But if I am missing anything, let me know. President's son did a TikTok on it. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. No more TikTok. You can't censor me, Mom. Not when you're married to President Transparency. Mm. Stop calling your father that. This isn't the same as exposing my hideous taste in drapes in the East Room. Wait a minute. Oh, she was the sister. The crazy one. She got recast too. President of Transparency. And you basically sell off the family's privacy to win an election? You gotta take the bad with the good. I just kept looking at her. I was like, why does she look so familiar? You don't leave me with much of a choice. Oh, and let me remind you, um, I will be old enough to vote in the next election. Yeah. Out of mind, was she in season one? William Henry Harrison was the first president to die in the White House. His ghost is said to haunt the attic. Where did you get that book? In the gift shop. The tour downstairs. <laughs> Mm. Whoops. Henry, give me that book. Daddy, Joseph doesn't want to come to school with me today. He wants to go to work with you. He wants to see the Oval Office. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? That's an interesting little letter opener. No way he actually did it, though. Oh my god. North Korea? We don't know yet. Could be domestic. Could be some resentful loner with rage issues working out of his parents' basement. Or Chucky! No, we can't let this get out. We keep it between us. Spence, that's not very vice presidential of you. <laughs> what does that even mean? We're gonna tell people the truth. The United States government was hacked. It's not exactly unprecedented. Mm, it's not. Our numbers will survive. <sighs> President Transparency. I'm Joseph, and I'm your friend till the end. Heidi ho ha! Oh, it's a weird coincidence, Henry, finding a doll with that name. There again, just like with the mother. Did he have like a sibling? Maybe that past that they named Joseph? And this is his way of like coping and they're not doing anything about it. I still could be wrong about that, but. Are they all TikTok stars? If I have to stoop to thirst trap TikToks twice a day. Mm. Mm. What's what Devin doing? To find my sister? Oh, the same reason Jake is doing it to find the doll. She, she's doing the same thing to mobilize her TikTok army to find her sister. Last year on Christmas Eve. My hey, here's my re my recap, I guess. Oh my god! Oh yeah! Holy shit! My sister Caroline was kidnapped. With a dolled up Chucky, the long con. Wizard doll. Bradley, this is Teddy. He's my secret service agent. He's basically my bodyguard. So, you know, don't even think of me in crap. Mm. <laughs> He's a good kid, smart kid. Big heart, just like you. Joseph's got a big heart, too. At night, when I listen really close, I can hear it beating. 
E he is biologically part human by this point. Sam, who's my next victim? Your wife. <laughs> oh, where did he go? Sitting in the big seat? Yeah, of course he would. Of course he would. He wants to feel that. Freaking Charles Lee Ray in the Oval Office in the president's chair. God damn, dude. Come a long way. Took a letter cutter. Letter opener, same thing. Who was in there? Melanie was with him. Coop did his sweep. And me? Who's the comedian? Mm hmm. Excuse me? Never mind. Coop, let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah, now he's uncertain about leaving it in there. Where's Joseph? He's in your room. Teddy, will you sweep my room first? Happy to, sir. Mm -hmm. Is Teddy gonna poke the Build-A-Bear? Uh-oh, yep. Oh, woo, woof. Oh, oh, God, we're starting off already with the gore. God damn. A lot of you have posted questions about what really ah, happened here ah. in Hackensack. What's he doing? Oh, he's still going to his podcast. Makes sense. Hasn't changed his game. How exactly did Junior Wheeler sneak backstage, decapitate our principal, and sneak back into the audience without anyone noticing? Oh, he, he is. Also, I guess. <laughs> going all the way back to the 60s and Charles Lee Ray, one of the most vicious serial killers of the late 20th century, who was gunned down in a Chicago toy store in 88. This is a really great way to recap everything. Even in the darkest corners of his And for them to capitalize on their own tragedy. Our suspect is two feet tall, has red hair, blue eyes, and should be considered uh. armed and extremely dangerous. Uh. Oh, that smash cut to the White House. Hey, you bet your ass. How are we going to get the team here and involved? President Collins has positioned this administration as one of utmost transparency. But given this scandal, forgive me, this tragedy, will the president honor his promise to be completely and totally forthcoming? The president feels that difficult times such as these are exactly when openness and honesty are needed most. Next question. Interesting. What's that about? And who are the ghosts he's been talking to? Oh, this kid would make a good Damien if they did another Omen reboot. Is Teddy gonna come back and haunt me too? What about Joseph? Mm. Why can I pay him back? Can you imagine if my parents knew I smoked weed here in these? Venerated halls of American history. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> what about that doll? <laughs> Are we doing the right thing, letting him get so attached to it? Henry lost his brother. There it is. So if some doll gives him any sort of comfort. Who are we to take that from him? You're stoned, aren't you? Mm. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Oliver. 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 Oh, I get that now. Check out my reaction to Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that iceberg up there. I made room for you in my floating door. Except, actually, I won't. I'm seriously already nervous. I'm terrified. Me too. About you 
gonna stop. Fuck it. I'm ready. Are, are they? Are they finally gonna smoosh? Is it Lexi? Tevin, check your phone. No, no, that's Lexi. <laughs> so looking for a good guy doll? I know where you can find one. Dude, Jake is jacked. Looking for your sister? Maybe I can help. I'm great with little kids. Mine just says, fuck you, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You bitches miss me? Mm. Yeah, tell us where you are and we'll come visit right now. Nah, you know me. I'm more of a hide and seek kind of a guy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Besides, my new place is pretty strict about visitors. You want to play? Let's play. But give us a clue. I just did. Dude, these three are going to have to bust into the White House, dude. <laughs> night covers english history oh i even threw in a little bit of driver's ed and you're saying this like it's a good thing <sighs> come on guys she's still in the picture with everything that happened all of the classes you've missed i just i don't want you to end up falling behind stupid <laughs> i love it good men men of honor like teddy and his murderer Right there! Hey! Fire! Ready! Fire! Ready! Ready! Aww. Poor guy. Hold those bank statements you asked for. Your Secret Service friend up there. Totally clean. No red flags. How about large cash withdrawals? She's just trying to find anything on them. A couple days before he died. He put a down payment on a cruise line trip to Alaska with his wife. Would you put money down on an expensive trip if you already had your bags packed for the great beyond? Yeah, she's just trying to find anything, but I mean, in this case, it's not going to be what she expects. Oh, they're stupid. I'm kidding. C is still passing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got my degree. <laughs> Your phone call is the one clue we do have. You saw the number, right? It was all zeros. Yeah. Let's see when to block your number. Easy. But what if you're so private? So important? What? How important? Like, Zendaya? <clears throat> so important that you can make it like your number doesn't even exist at all. I looked it up and the only people with that kind of power are like the Pentagon and the CIA. So, um, would you say we did pretty good? Pretty well. If we did? <sighs> God, no. It's just correcting your grammar. Mm. 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 Fret not. I am gonna mold those squishy little... I'm so glad she survived all this, man. I'm gonna go start on a lesson plan. And a glass of wine. Respect. Holy shit. Oh, he's gonna be on the news! A little convenient, but that works. A sadly historic situation in... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Turning to the White House from the departed agent's memorial service. Not that it helps. Chucky in the White House. How did he even get in there? What does he want? What does he always want? And what happened to Tiffany? We can't get in there. It's the White House. I don't care if it's the fucking moon. <clears throat> he knows where my sister is. That's just right. We need to find Caroline. That's a good point. Where is Caroline? I didn't even think about maybe wherever Tiffany is. I don't know. Oh, who are the ghosts? We're going to kill Chucky, guys. Once and for all. Again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He's in the White House. Damn, dude. I'm not going to watch any of this. It's just a lead up to more stuff, dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. This was a great uh, return to form, man. Like, we didn't skirt away from any gore. We had a nice little, like, you know, these little tense moments, a lot of buildup, getting to know our new players. Chucky, you know, playing and manipulating the stage, gathering intel and playing his little games. Doing a great job so far at covering his tracks. But lo and behold, one thing he may not have foreseen is just how hungry the media could be uh, for digging in for some scoops. That little uh, cover-up might not be so covered up in the long term. 
this one reporter of ill faith will f uncover something, but not exactly what I, she's hoping. Uh, I would imagine. I think she's really just, she just disbelieves this whole transparency stick from this president, this independent president who, you know, got elected and has been open and honest about everything except that he and his wife smoke the other stuff. But for the most part, he's been open and honest about everything regarding the campaign stuff going on in the White House, all of it. And she's just like, nope, can't be real. It's not how this works. It's not how politicians are. They don't tell the truth. <laughs> Which in most cases, she's right. And this one, though, is going to cover up something else all entirely. But I like that after the events of everything else, you know, surviving what they've done, the be uh, you know, being in the public eye in the way they have been at this point, that each one of them has used that to build a platform on social media, which is also interesting because it ties it into what the young teen, I assume he's a teenager, the older son in the White House is also doing the same thing. Some of their you know, activities got outed to the public purely because he was live streaming on TikTok. And they're using that in their own way, intentionally planting information out there, looking for someone. Jake being very subtle, making everything about his sculptures, his doll piece, which is taking us right back to season one and the sculptures he used to make. I'm doing all these, all of the Americana icons are part of this, this sculpture, but I'm missing just one and I can't get my golly gee hands on a good guy doll. Militarizing his audience to find Chucky. Bullshit, it's for that. It's to find that Chucky that got away. And then you have Lexi doing the kind of the same thing, but she's like, God damn, if I have to do thirst trap to do it, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> to try to find her sister. Like, it's just like the arc all of these characters have been on is really solid, man. And then same thing, going back to season one, Devin using all the same thing, live streaming his podcast that he was recording before in season one is how Jake, well, it's not how Jake knew him. He knew him from a school, but he also, they connected through the podcast, the like-mindedness. And it's just kind of evolved. And he's still trying to push that from his true crime narrative and all that, that whole angle that to be like, hey guys, I know, I I know I've been saying all this stuff. I don't have any proof, but I am on the lookout for proof. I have not given up on this. None of them have. And I, I love that. As we're interconnecting and recapping the last season, that was a really well done. The way they integrated it into the episode, sprinkled it in throughout. And then just that hard cut to Lex Lexi's mother being split down the skull in half. That's the one thing about this show. It doesn't shy away from the gore. It doesn't pull its punches. Love the show, man. I love this series. I love Chucky. Takes a backseat to the big players like Jason. Freddie, Michael, even Leatherface for some reason. Like, it's just like Brad Dorf just makes this character come to life, man. And also Don Mancini just is a brilliant writer in mind uh, who's just got this eye for parody, for satire, but also just kind of this lens into just the human condition in a lot of fun ways. But he also likes to play with it. I, I just really like uh, the stances that he brings into this whole thing, you know. We also see Jake and Devin. Uh, furthering their relationship and uh, again starting off from where we started you know it's 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 nice to me you know still to this day how tight-knit this group became they got a little shaky in season two you know when they were kind of fracturing under the pressure of everything that's going on and the weird way that jake was uh kind of coping with what happened to his brother but still, Chucky just couldn't help but draw in their attention and give them a little hint. Because of he's in this uh, position that is heavily covered by the media, you know, this incident occurred and he's caught on film because this kid is just dragging that doll anywhere. Now, I wonder how long has it been since his brother died? Did Chucky kill his brother? Because he took his name. How far back does this go that he's in, like planned and plotted this infiltration? Where is Caroline? Last we saw, she was with Tiffany. Yeah, she left with Tiffany. Tiffany tried to inject her soul into the Bell doll. And then it turned out that the Bell doll was just a Chucky in disguise. And he woke up. And that's the last thing I remember us uh, seeing. Also, Nika, you know, 
call in or be like, hey, I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs> Dude, Nika. Oh, man. We need some justice for her, man. She's just like, this is a character that just continues to get pulled through the mud. Anyway, guys, great first episode. I can't wait to see where the season goes from here. So what'd you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, you'll see the full-length reaction. Check it out over on Patreon or for Camaral channel. Get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share it, Ryan, Karen, Yori, Corey, Scott, Margaret, Grace, Melita, Robert Angiano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Amy Becca, and Casey Woods. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.